Hello, welcome back. So we are continuing our adventure on uh, on the World Tier Four right now. We did beat the the last boss. Basically, Elias, the last boss of the World Tier Three. Right now we are continuing our adventure. We are trying to find gear. I tried to level up a little bit in the world. Because I think it's faster and safer. Uh, we should not do that. At least until we get uh, to level... Um, I don't know. Let's get to level 70. And after that we can start doing some... Uh, really good uh, nightmare dungeons and level of our glyphs but until then we really need to basically per play carefully and uh, see how it goes that uh, as i said in the previous video that zapping uh, legendary not legendary vampire power it's so bonkers I love how sacred items drops on this difficulty. Okay. okay so apparently we switch our gear and our vampire vampire powers are down. Okay, we got some ancestral gloves at least and a chest armor that's great <laughs> attack speed critical strike okay 63 overpower damage with bludgeoning weapon. This is so good. Prowling skill damage. That one can be rolled to be something else. Let's keep it at least. And let's see what we are missing. So we are missing again three chalices apparently right now. We should drop some skulls, right? No, some, uh, some these. I think we are set, right? Yeah. Okay, so we finished the the, the events here. So what I will do, I will search for elites and. Uh, Try to kill them. And nothing else. Uh, what's here? Okay, this is... Is this an event? Okay, at least we killed it fast. We have an, uh, enough bolts for a roll. Cutter prism, that's good. It's for uh, putting um, sockets onto gear.
The issue that I have right now is that I don't have enough Veil Crystals to do anything. So I don't know exactly how much I can improve my gear. Let me check. Okay. The thing is I do a lot of damage also with lunge because of my weapon. <laughs> Let's summon them. Nothing great. See how much damage do I do? A lot. Should we try this? Let's try this. It will be a lot of experience. Okay, that was so tricky. Still, we are still siphoning. Okay, let's get out. I think we stood a lot there, so let's not risk it further. Okay, there are a lot of them. It's still active, for fuck's sake. Okay, a lot of... Okay, we almost died. Fuck me. There are a lot of <laughs> monsters here. I don't know what's happening anymore. That was a lot of experience. And guess what? No fucking good items. I think I should go here. I don't think I need this... Uh... Maybe I need these, but I think I'll go to the glyph. Let's try to summon them again. An ancestor lags, that's great. But I really need a two-handed mace. So this overlapped. Okay, it has a lot of uh, stats there. Over power damage, over power and core skill damage. Yeah, it's way better than this sword. What about this amulet? Bad. 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 Everything is bad here. Uh, let me check the pants.
this one gives me a lot of reduction so I don't think I will uh, basically switch them too soon this one gives a lot of stuff mm -hmm. let's put um, an aspect on it but I think I really need uh, let me check and maybe I'll have it around here I need the one that gives me damage this one yeah let's put this one my god this still took a lot of um, a lot of my um, crystals Okay, we level up one to level uh, three. We just need the metamorphosis one. I'm pressing escape if I don't see the border that uh, tells me the this one is a keep. So everything it's a level three. Uh, let me check my resistances. Should I pop? I think it's safer to pop this kind of potion as this to have proper resistances and not, uh, I don't know, die unexpectedly. Um, this it's sacred most likely, as I said. The game is trolling me. Okay, let's continue. Maybe we will, uh, let me check. Maybe we can start creating some uh, ancestral uh, sigils. So let's, uh, okay. So let's create an ancestral one and start doing it. Glacier Fisher. Okay, so we need nine of these to open up the sigil. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, awesome. I think we found the recipe, right? For this one. Nice. Okay, so let's start do 21 and the 25. We should be able to do a 21, right? Uh, let's do Renegade Retits. 22. How much it will be? 76. So, we are capable to deal with uh, 75, I think. We can do without any issues the 76th one. Let's see how hard is this Renegade Retreat. Ah, it's the one. It's okay -ish. The Problem is that we don't have much... Uh, much... Uh, stacks of Evade. So I think it's better to keep them in case we need to become... Uh, how it's called? unstoppable and not to use them okay a maze core skill damage damage versus slowed critical strike damage needs to be better than the axe let me check if it's better than this one It's way better than this one. Yeah, let's put it instead of this one. Right now we are farming. We should get a lot of experience from these dungeons. So it's okay if we kill monsters.
Okay, so Wrath of the Berserkers gives me unstoppable. That's good. Um, yeah, let's go here. I don't know even what to put there. I don't know if I have all of them. Okay, so we can do it without any issues. Okay, school crusher, that's great. Really bad roll, but it's thirty per twenty percent. Yeah, I think it's okay. I don't know. It's not a great roll. I think the one that we have uh, gives us a lot of more damage than the affixes on that one. Awesome, 66. Let's put here. Let me finish the dungeon and I will look to see exactly what I will put there. Uh, we should put Crusher, I think. Do I have it? So do I have crushes? So it's 15 strength. For every fry sank for change within range, you deal 13 increased damage while wielding a mace. Why wield a mace? Yeah. Okay, so we need a lot of strength stuff. I think we can go here. And strength here. Then here, then here, okay, got it. Okay, so the, da the damage is so high that we don't need the uh, Okay, so there is still one more. Okay, so we should do it without any issues. <laughs> the boss. Maybe there's one more elite here. Will we do this? Yeah, let's do it. It will be a lot of experience.
Yeah, scroll on of escape, that's awesome. Let's pick this up. I would like a butcher right now. I did get a lot on this dungeon. Okay, so as you saw there, the fucking zapping killed it. Okay, let's see how it goes. Okay. So it went smoothly. Let's level up higher. We still need a lot of experience. So we have this, so how much more? We need 15 more, so... Um, 20, 25... No, uh, 35 and 40. 40, 40. We, sh we should take these also. 66 damage with maces. This counts as... 200 maces? I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's see what we get. Forbidden City, Inferno 22. Let's me check the Nightmare tier list. Let's do a um, Belfry Zakra. I'm not dashing because I'm don't have enough uh... enough um, evade stacks. I don't want to dash in something and after that to die. This dungeon is pretty okay. Okay, I saw an 800k damage with the vulnerable. I think it's time we should stack vulnerable damage and uh, get our build going. Maybe we should wait a little for some legendaries, who knows.
Uh, let's put another one. Okay, so this was really nice, a lot of experience. A lot of experience. Another scroll of escape, that's awesome. And we got two Paragon points. So we can go here and here and next we will increase our overpower damage with maces. Okay, so I don't know why they say this dungeon is not good. It's not too long. It has a lot of elites. I really enjoy doing it. Let's go if we see, maybe we can go with the stack. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It was a 79, fuck me. Holy... This one was a 25, for fuck's sake. <sighs> Fuck me. Okay, let's tip it to town. First of all, let's check if we got any. These pants are so fucking good. Ancestral two handed mace, that's it. That's what I wanted to see. Vulnerable damage, damage versus slow bleeding enemies, that's incredible at least we got something nice um the pants i don't think i will uh, replace them too soon they are too good to be honest Let's play with two maces, maybe it's better. 
Okay, let's salvage everything. At least let's imprint this if we can. If not, I think let's pull like this and imprint this one with something else. I think the one with the bleed from the... Um, the problem is that I really need to... Okay. And that one should be the one with the bleed. It's something better here. Nah. Where is the one with the bleed? This one. Okay. So let's level uh, these bad boys up. Upgrade them, not level, upgrade them. Yeah. Fuck this. Uh, let's see what we can do. Forbidden City 22. Maybe we can do the Whispering Vault. Yeah, let's do the Whispering Vault. It should be... 76, right? Yeah. We did a 79 level uh, dungeon, so... I think we can handle this pretty well. We should have a lot of damage right now. Because we switched the weapon. Carrion Fields is really great. It's S tier. Okay, this one seems annoying. I really don't like these uh, dungeons with uh, ghosts. Okay, our damage seems to be really boosted with this um, mace. Okay, so we have a lot of damage with maces. I think we can put this also to get a little bit more damage. A little bit more damage. Give me a second. If we should go with two maces or not. If we go with three maces, it will be much better in terms of damage. Let's check this out. Let me check the damage. So right now I'm doing 8k, 4k, right?
Let's keep it how it is right now because we seem to do really well, so why rush it? We're also almost 30 level until uh, 100, so when we will start to do like end game content like 100 dungeons, that's when we should mean max. A Goar ruins, that's good. Also, should I go here? No, I think I should go here also after this. To get this bleeding uh, damage. Is this the boss? No. Whenever I see sacred things, I'm so. I don't know. Okay, so this is pretty good also. So keep in mind, Whispering Vault. It's a Tomb Lord. Okay. Single target. We have no issue. Only Sacred. <sighs> That's great. Let's see what we got. Let's we'll try this Goa Ruins. Yeah, let's do this Goa Ruins. Okay, I think this level, that level with uh, two-handed maces, basically, I don't know if this will apply. 100 damage with maces. I think it's with the big mace. I don't think it will count if we have multiple maces.
Okay, there's uh, not this one, this one. After this, I'll put uh, these two. This one and this one for 10% more damage versus bleeding. Look how they die. Come on. A lot of fucking elites here. Yeah, let's go here. Really nice damage. Let me wait for the mo okay. So the buff should be up. Okay, big uh, lady. Big lady dead. Okay, next I think I will go... Where should we go? I don't think we need to put these. Let's go... Let's go to the next board. I think we can go to the next board. I think we should put uh, Undaunted there. So basically we should put uh, Undaunted. Uh, Carnage I think, right? Yeah. Carnage and... We should go with... Uh, something like this. And take... Uh, damage while Berserking. Damage reduction versus Close. It should be 9, nice, and if we put on Dante, we'll get another damage reduction. And 
that's it for the moment. Okay, let's do one more. Let's do another. Let's do another Guar Ruins. And we'll end the video. Let's see if we TP inside that, what, what will happen? Did uh, we reset it or what? Yep, apparently it's resetted. So 23 should be 79 monsters, right? No, 77. Ah, 77. 25 uh, should be 79. Yeah, 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 what I'm saying. Um, basically I can run around and heal them without doing anything without basically pressing a, a skill look this is so good for farming that skill <laughs> incredible I don't know why I'm doing this. I I just want to look what's inside this dungeon. Okay, let's move forward. We level up so fast from 63 to to 70 to to 69 yeah almost 70 so it is really nice if you can basically go and uh, clear the capstone dungeon really early it's a lot of experience boost Let's uh, kill the fat lady. Oh my god. That crit took half of her HP. These boots are awesome. To lower a little bit our um, our damage, our uh, damage reduction for poison, but but keep in mind, fire. How much fire do we have? Uh, but the thing is, we have a lot of. Mm. The thing is, it will give us also berserking duration, and. Uh, 30% damage reduction while injured. So it's really nice. Let's level up higher. We'll be level 12. That's awesome. Couple more dungeons and we are level... Uh, level... Um, what it's called? Level 15. And we should get a lot of uh, good stuff. Um, yeah. I think we found our boots at least until uh, the end game. Let's level them up. Berserker duration is really important for us. 
So 32 berserk in duration. How much berserk in duration do I have? So 53. Oh my god. Maybe we can roll something. Can we roll that bleeding? Uh, nope. On the helmet. On everything is two. Okay, on these boots. Not boots, pants. Nah. On these boots. So two again. This damage reduction while fortified so good. On this ring. How much it will take? This fortified generation it's useless to be honest. This one it's okay. I think I will use the maces. I don't know. I have a feeling that Basically this one is better, but I need the core skill one. And I imprinted a really good one, fuck me. Do I still have something to imprint? Yep, fuck it. Uh, we can salvage everything. So right now I think my gear is... My chest should be changed, but I really need a good chest before I do it. I'm doing that. And so far I don't find anything better. Maybe we can... Uh, I think I can salvage everything else. This is imprinted. Okay, so this is a really good chest. But it doesn't have um, resistances. Yeah. Fuck it. Uh, let's see, maybe we can gamble something nice. We should try a chest. Uh, tunic, yeah. So we have three. Sacred and say this one it's not even sacred. Okay. Let me check if I can craft some gems. Or at least to put a socket on something. To put I can put two sockets, not just one. It's good that we get to uh, scattered prism. We really need it. Let's put two on this. Rick, can we craft rubies? No. Uh, I think we should put overpower damage. When we do it, we'll do it and that's it. Or we should go with critical strike to Vurna. I think we have a lot of critical strike because of uh, how it's called. If we salvage this, maybe we can make a ruby. Yeah. So let's. At least we, we decrease a little bit our lightning resistance. Let me check when the potion will expire. Yeah, 
Okay, so writing resistance is really low. Shadow resistance it's up. Call resistance it's up. Yeah, we we need a couple of more resistances. What the fuck did I do? Okay, so that's why my resistances were low because I equipped that blue item. So okay, so this uh, looks way better. The poison one, it's the it should be at sixty six, right? Yeah, so I'm okay with the potion. We are a, a little bit low on uh, poison, but for the moment, okay. The armor, it's a problem right now. We really need to be around level to have like a lot of armor. Like 13k. Anyway, uh, let's craft uh, these uh, emeralds. How much is it? Five if it should be sixty, right? If I go with rubies, rubies are like one hundred percent more. How much critical damage do I have? I have a lot of critical strike and with the eight percent from my um fortify thingy. Let me check from this one. We should have a lot. How much overpower damage do I we got right now? Not that much. We can go like 2k I think. Over 2k. Damage reduction while fortified 30%. Damage reduction while ninja 50% that's super good because uh, it will also trigger this and we will get around uh, if we are below 50 we should be like another 25 percent so it will be 75 percent damage reduction so it's uh, i'm really glad uh what we need to level up metamorphosis right let's see if we get it couple of times yeah these boots are really good these are really good boots the thing is the only thing that i want to roll it's the shadow damage because we have a lot of sh uh, shadow resistance we have like i think we can remove that and um, should be 63 yeah so we can remove that to be honest right no it's 30 it's a uh, resistance of problems for penalties okay so we should keep shadow resistance the only thing we can roll if we have something else another shadow resistance here maybe we can roll that maximum fury in different things yeah anyway we will see that in uh, another episode so thank you for watching and uh, we will see you into the next one have a great day bye